Hello welcome to Korean restaurant. Let me know when you're ready to order. I started working as a cashier in a restaurant as I was running out of money. I needed money desperately as my new school was much more expensive than the last school I was in. And then I became more and more interested in controlling the energies around me. And I took some online witchcraft classes to learn to control the energy around me. I wanted to block the bad energy and bring good things to my life. So I was basically studying to become a witch. I bought some witchcraft books and put curses on people that bullied me in the past. I was slowly becoming a real witch putting spells on people and controlling energies around me. I wanted to protect myself. And then one day something strange happened. I woke up from a weird dream. In my dream I heard God's voice saying that he feels betrayed by me. He was sad that I was moving too far away from him. And then I woke up. Thought it was a weird dream and went to work that day. It was a day that I get my first salary from the restaurant. I went to the restaurant and at the end of the day the boss handed me my first salary. When I counted it there was only half of the amount I was supposed to get. I was never late or made mistake clocking in. I went to the restaurant 30 minutes earlier and read a book. I think he thought I wouldn't be able to say anything or complain about it as I seemed too naive. It's finally the time for my talent to shine at last. Which is cutting people out. I sent my boss a text message. I quit. Ugh I have to look for another job again. Hold on a second. This place is willing to pay me twice the amount for just working one day a week? This is perfect cause I need a lot of time to study for school. I should send my resume here. So. You might think I'm crazy when I say this. I got the job. And the job is. Um. Working as a preacher for the children's ministry. You started working as a preacher in a church. But I never saw you attending church before. I know I got real upset at my previous boss and I kind of impulsively sent out my resume and it worked. So on your resume it says you quit your theology school when you were a sophomore? Which church were you going to after you moved to United States? So something bad happened at the first church I was working at and I'd rather not talk about it. Anyway it made me quit the school and it was hard for me to go back to the church after that. I actually was not attending any church for the last 10 years. And I kind of impulsively sent out that resume because my previous boss gave me only half the amount of what I was supposed to get. So you were not going to any churches for the last 10 years? No I wasn't. I actually even bought this Bible just yesterday to come here. Cause it'd be weird to come to a job interview in a church without a Bible. These Bibles are real expensive these days. It sounds like, as much as we need you, you need this church as well. Our church has been praying for a female preacher for over a year. And I think you just might be the answer to our prayer. Thank you. I had a weird dream a night before sending out my resume and I think you might be right. I think God sent me here for a reason. And just like that I got the job. I went home and threw away all my witchcraft related stuff. And there were a lot of them. I know what you're thinking. You are thinking what kind of a psychopath suddenly goes to a church to make money. Well I think Jesus lured Peter to follow him by letting him catch the fishes. And I think he did the same to me with this new job. Whatever works right? He knew I was a psychopath who would suddenly buy the Bible to go for a preacher job. Yes he knows everything. Hello everyone. This is a new preacher Ari. Nice to meet you all. Let's read the word of the day. The verse is from Exodus 13 21. As the Lord guided people with the pillar of cloud and pillar of fire, we shall always walk with Jesus. Amen. Just like that I escaped the witchcraft as the people of God escaped Egypt. As I got back to God, I realized something. I realized that I never prayed for you since I moved to your house. Oh Ari. You're making me cry. I will start to pray for you. I prayed to God that he sends my landlady's boyfriend away and that she could break up with him safely. You won't believe what happened. Ari. You won't believe what happened. 
What happened? My boyfriend he suddenly said he wants to break up with me and packed all his things and left this house in the morning. For real? I'm so happy for you. I wish I could hug you right now but this plotagon action button is broken. That's okay he was not letting me go to the church but now I can.